Around mid-June, the Premier League is expected to resume. We asked the public for their thoughts and if they think it's safe for the players. I don't think, in all honesty, that it will pose a threat to players because under the government guidelines, um, they've had to bring in experts to do uh, testing before they go to train. Also, on match days, there'll be testing taking place before the match itself, which will be probably two hours beforehand. And also, the fact that no crowds can go there, so they're not going to be uh, getting uh, any abuse from the stands either. Uh, I think it will pose a threat to the players. It's a close contact sport. I know that the players are being tested twice weekly, but I still think they shouldn't be going back to, to playing games until the rest of the nation is back playing contact sports. So if you're asking me if uh, starting the Premier League is a danger to the players, I think that depends on what precautions are taken actually by the Premier League. Um, in the Bundesliga, for example, they tested all the players and almost kept them in a sort of semi-quarantine for two or three days prior to the game. Um, and if they could do something like that, then clearly the, the risk level to the players is significantly reduced, actually, if it is just a cohort of 20 or 30 players. Of course, if, if they're not tested, then they're allowed to, to uh, mix with family and friends uh, 24, 48 hours before any game, then clearly the risk goes up because it's a contact sport. I think it will. I mean, after all, I mean, um, football in this country is the national game, unlike any other sport, whether it be rugby or hockey or otherwise. Uh, the vast majority of people are soccer supporters in this country and I think you know your home team to be able to go and support them uh, either by looking at it on television which is going to be free for view on most of the channels now going forward uh, until the season's concluded including the BBC for the first time I was actually hearing about this morning.